Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black with a new Positively Penny Black video. And during these troubling times, we're committed to doing our best to bring our followers some positive messages of inspiration, hope, crafting, and distraction. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on today's cute little clean and simple card. Here's a look at what we will be creating today. And before we begin, I just wanted to mention that I will have a full supply list at the very end of the video up on screen. So if you want to look at in detail any of the supplies that I'm using today just hit pause at that time and you can check it out. So to begin I'm going to begin stamping with this Keep Growing Transparent set. This set is full of really unique happy whimsical images like the one I am using today and I'm going to stamp this onto Bristol paper using a versified ink which will be waterproof once dry both this paper and this ink will be great for the coloring technique that I will be doing today that does incorporate some water and some blending with water-based markers. So I went ahead and stamped that, then put down my Eclipse masking paper. I'm going to stamp this again and cut it out. And now I'm ready to stamp this adorable dog stamp. This is from our miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set called Party. And I am going to cover up that sort of floral image with my mask and then I'm going to make this dog look extra long <laughs> which I think is just another fun touch to this. I was just really in the mood to have some fun stamping being silly, whimsical, goofy and so that's what I went for on this card. So with the mask in place I stamped the front of the dog then I'm going to stamp uh, his hindquarters here in the back. Now I just grabbed, I saved all my scraps of that Eclipse masking paper. It's kind of like a giant sticky note. I want to make sure I don't uh, stamp over the edge of the other mask. I only want one head in the front. And so I just want to stamp this rear of the dog in the back. And by sort of incorporating and layering these two stamped and masked images, it just gives depth and some more whimsy to this one layer scene. So I will go ahead and stamp him and then remove all the masks so you can see what we will be having as a result. And I'm just going to grab the little bird here from our lighthearted transparent set. I felt like the dog looked like he was looking up at something so he needed a little friend to be looking at. So I'm going to use that bird to stamp and add that little friend. And that also makes this great for a friendship or encouragement type of card. This would be great for anyone that you know who owns a dash hound. We used to have a dash hound and so this stamp makes me um, just especially happy as I am coloring and working on it. Now I'm going to be doing all of my coloring and painting using Arteja Arteza Real Brush Pens and Arteza Twine Markers. And I've made several videos recently explaining my exact techniques for doing this. So I will link those, link uh, one of those for you down in the YouTube description box below. So if you want some more detailed step-by-step -step, um, me talking about my choices and how I'm doing my blending and inking, be sure to check that out. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to pop up some music for you and I will be back in just a bit.
So now I am finished painting and coloring my little scene. I was ready to add my sentiment and I have chosen a sentiment from our magical friendship set. There's some really wonderful encouraging friendship uh, sentiments in here and I stamped that just using some black ink right down close to the image just to keep everything tied in together. And then finally, to add a little bit of interest to this clean and simple card up near the top of the card, I went ahead and die cut the top border or the edge using our stitched edges die. And I'll give you just a close up look at what that looks like. I layered it, this panel onto a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch A2 white note card. And that little bit of detailing up at the top, I think just finishes off the clean and simple design. So here's another look at the finished card. I hope you had fun watching this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and also ring the bell so you receive a notification each time we post a new video. We also invite you to fill your feed, so to speak, with our Facebook, Instagram, and blog posts where we are just filling those up with all things happy for you during these times. And I've linked to all of these for you down in the YouTube description box below. And here's that supply list as promised. Thanks for watching.